Hey, this is Roger, and in this video I'm going to show you uh, the automatic uh, water bowl for the chicken. So as you can see, there's a, uh, a float switch in there, which determines uh, whether it needs to be refilled or not. And uh, there's a, a, a tube going to my uh, solenoid, my sprinkler system solenoid, and then of course the wire for the float switch. And uh, this is a pretty typical situation where the water is dirty and I just want to give them some clean water. So I'll uh, just empty it out and uh, it'll just start to use so it's uh, clean water. And it'll keep going, of course, until the port switch is reached. And then it'll stop. I got the stainless steel float switch I found in the other projects that I worked on. It's good to invest in a nice, um, good quality float switch. Otherwise, they'll get stuck or they'll short out. This one you can see has a, a good seal on the top. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty well waterproof in, in terms of the wiring. And the... Uh, the float's going to pop up now and it'll stop filling up. And it's done. And this is where the water comes from. Uh, it's actually just a regular sprinkler system. Uh, solenoid. And you can see here this, this wire is going off um, to the chicken coop. This other brown wire here is for my sprinkler system. So these two there and this are for my sprinkler system. And this one's controlled directly by that 24 volt um, motor controller that's on my Arduino. So 24 volt, um, the 24 volt adapter is shared. Um, just got lucky that the motor I had was 24 volts and the solenoid system is 24 volts. I actually didn't think that through but uh, got lucky on that, so it's sharing the same. And uh, under the ground here, um, there's a, just a simple drip line tube that goes all the way around to the chicken coop, and uh, that's what fills up the, the water bowl over here, which I showed you earlier. And that's it.